It has been said that a hero is only as good as his villain, and the movies taught me that the badder the villain, the more you cheer on the hero. Today, I compiled a list of 12 of my favorite villains that have ever embraced the silver screen. This is my top 12 favorite movie villains. Number 12, The Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. Being that this was one of the first movies I ever saw, this was obviously the first villain I was introduced to. It's a combination of her black attire, green skin, creepy music, and a voice so scary it gave me nightmares. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. <laughs> This character was so evil that you started to care about our protagonists and just rooted for their safety. Wanna play ball? <laughs> it is said that she had more scenes in the film that had to be cut because kids wouldn't take it. Interestingly enough, that when my friend Donna Fox played the part on stage in the production I was in last year, I noticed that some kids were so scared some didn't want to go back in the theater. In my mind, I thought that was a good thing, because it showed that the character still works. And we have Margaret Hamilton to thank for that. <laughs> Number 11. Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Created by Wes Craven and brought to life by Robert England, Freddy Krueger was indeed a villain you can't reason with. Please, God. This is God. It's got to be that glove with the knives on that really shows you this guy is really up to no good. Here's a guy who was a child killer, burned alive, believed to be dead, but comes back as a dream demon. Unlike other serial killers who don't speak or make weird noises, this guy not only talks, he jokes. Watch with six sequels and a remake with Jackie Earl Haley, Freddy Krueger continues to be the stuff nightmares are made of. <laughs> Number 10. Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. This is a pleasant surprise. Like the Wicked Witch of the West, this character materializes with smoke and fire, dresses in black, has green skin, and has magic powers. But the one thing that makes this character different from the other is that she transforms into a friggin' dragon. Beautifully animated by Mark Davis and voiced by Eleanor Audley, Maleficent was so delightfully evil that you can't take your eyes off her. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Oh no! <laughs> The scene where she lures the princess to her unavoidable fate is one scene that gave me nightmares. Just hearing that music and seeing that green orb just haunted my dreams for a long time. But this character was so unforgettable that she has earned the number 10 spot on my countdown. <laughs> number 9. Gozer from Ghostbusters. This is another character that as a kid used to scare the hell out of me. Being that Ghostbusters was a comedy with great characters and funny dialogue. Where are we? It looks like we're in the teens somewhere. Okay. But when we get to 20, tell me, I'm gonna throw up. All of a sudden, this creepy looking broad with weird hair, bubble wrap suit, glowing red eyes, and scary voice shows up. Are you a god? 
Although she appears in this form in one scene, it was enough to send me out of the room. But she does come back, only in a different form. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. But nevertheless, Gozer was a combination of creepiness and villainy at the same time. Aim for the flat top! <laughs> Number 8. Amon Git from Schindler's List. Although this was based on a real man, Ray finds his portrayal adds so much evil to this character. In reality and in the movie, he shoots people from his villa balcony if he stopped to take a breath. What an asshole. He even shoots random prisoners who did nothing wrong. It has been said that Steven Spielberg casted Rafe because of his evil sexuality, and I think this scene is a good example. Is this the face of a rat? Are these the eyes of a rat? Hath not a drew eyes. Almost Shakespearean, isn't it? Cold, cruel, but still devilishly sexy, Amon Git remains a dark spot in human history. Number 7. Mullaran from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I thought that out of all the Indiana Jones villains, he was not only the best, he was also the scariest. Part of what gives this character its edge is the top-notch performance by the late Bollywood actor Amrish Puri. He also has that cool outfit of ceremonial robes and a ram skull headdress. Even the environment around him adds to the villain. He also could rip your heart out and show it to you while it was still beating. That is scary. Mulder, doing what he does best, being heart-poundingly evil. Ah! 